So we recently celebrated the one year anniversary of Hughes. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on that accomplishment. Thank you, thank you. Like what's that experience been like? Um, it's it's been monumental, you know what I'm saying? Like that's actually my first, you know, full in project. Just, you know, noticing the impact that I've had on, you know, the city and just, you know, other cities in the US and even overseas. Um, and knowing that, you know, I've like, you know, literally, you know, changed people's lives or even put people in a circumstance where, you know, they feel like they're not alone. Like, I, I feel really good about that. And I feel like if I can continue to do that, you know, only bigger and better things is gonna happen for me. You got crazy records on it. You've got Bliss, you've got Selly. Yeah, you got Intro yeah. Hurt with Tanya. You even, like, let's just talk about Bliss for right now, though, because okay. that's the big one. Right. Over a million streams, so like, how do, you, how do you still feel about that song? And you've admitted that's not even your favorite song that you created. It's not. So let's talk about that one. Um, Bliss, Bliss is, is funny, you know. For people that know me, for real, for real, like, they know, like, I literally did not want to drop that song at all. I felt like it was too personal. I felt like, you know, nobody could relate to it. Like, I felt like I was just putting all of my pain into the song and then you know once i once i released it and then it was kind of moving around the city a little bit you know like people was talking about it. i was like okay cool like let's let's see where it goes uh you know i put a lot of promotion into it and then that's like when it just started to take off like it was kind of like overnight thing kind of but like yeah like once i saw it you know going up like more than what any other song that I ever released did, like I was like, yeah, this might be the one. And then came the video. Yeah. Which also went nuts. Yeah, the video is crazy. Uh, I directed the video 100%. So, um, man, like just, just looking back on that whole process of, of just that one song and you know where it's at now, like it's crazy. All right, now that we've chopped it up and we've learned more about you, mm -hmm. this is the fun part. Okay. All right, so Spin really needs some new records in our collection. Okay. So we want to see what you're feeling. We're going to look around. In honor of us being here at Wax and Facts, we're going to shop around. All right, cool. All right, let's do it. Cool. Let's go to this section over hurdle. Oh, I think I might fall in love. Well, uh, maybe not. So this one here, this is... This is still tied with um, because of the internet for me, man. Just because, like, Let I don't know. We're don't... tying these. Okay. Hmm. We're tying these. And see, now that I see it, it's like, damn. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I fuck with because of the internet a lot more. Not even because, like, this is bad or anything, but just, like, I don't know, like, that one just hits a lot different. This one does hit different. It I think that's the perfect different. way to compare them. Like, they hit completely, completely different. different. But this is this is my top five albums of the past decade, mm. for sure. Igor is also in that category. Um, if I can find it, I'll show you another one that's in there. Let me see. Slide this back over here. I know in this corner, I think we got some some Cuddy and Kendrick in this corner. Yeah, some Kendrick. This one is also top five of the past decade. Okay. Um, when it first hit, how did you feel about it? When it, I'm, I'm not gonna cap, when it first hit, I didn't get it at first. I, it took me about three different listens to fully understand it. But To Pimp a Butterfly definitely is one of those albums that like, you have to really appreciate art to like, to understand it. Um, let me see. This is like one of my favorite producers right now, okay. um, Kei Um I'm a really huge fan of Kei Trinata. That's like my dream, you know, producer collab as of right now. Mm. Um, it's this one song, um, let me see if I can find it. Glowed Up with Anderson Pack. That's my favorite song on the project. Um, yeah, like that's what made me a, a, a huge fan of Kei Trinata for sure. So you mentioned kind of like the favorite albums of the past decade. Mm -hmm. I know it's like an insane question. I hate when people ask me this question, but what would you, if you had to pick like three albums all time that you can't go wrong with? Mm, all time? All time, my guy. I would definitely say To Pimp a Butterfly by Kendrick. Mm -hmm. I would say, I can't think of the name right now, but Prince's second album. I can't think of the name right now to save my life, but I would, I would probably say Igor by Tyler the Creator. Okay. Just cause like I really feel like he ended the last decade really strong with a really good album. 
Facts. And anytime I like listen to music, that's probably like, I have to like listen to one of those songs off that project. So yeah, I would say those three. Facts. And even considering this to be album at the, the tail end of a decade yeah. of his career that he really started, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. To see from Bastard all the way to this, right. it's insane. Yeah. Anyone crazy. who's like an artist, like thinking about like artist progression, they should just the, the grow. model themselves the after grow. something yeah. like that. Like For just sure. grow. That's, anything. that's how I am, man. Like even now, like I'm kind of stressing about, you know, what my next project would sound out, sound like. And it's like topping Hughes, like right now, like not saying I can't do it, but like, I just feel like I can't right now. You know that I'm pressure's like, on you. I feel yeah, it. it's a lot of pressure. So I totally feel it. Niggas trying to hit me on my city now. I've been working, I care less about what they trying to tell me now. Quick disclaimer, I don't pick up no more. When these folk hit my phone. I think for me, what I'm starting to um, appreciate a lot more is having one-on-one -on -one interactions with like people that, you know, that listen to my music and that really enjoy my music. You get to hear, you know, the impact that you've had on people like one-on-one -on -one, and you get to, you know, relate to that person. And for me, if I can, you know, have a blueprint for somebody to you know, feel like I'm not alone, like I got, you know, other people that's, that's with me, like, I, I love that. I love it for sure. So that connection is like bridge the gap with you in like different states and different countries. Yeah. Let's talk about your coming up right here right. in Atlanta. So what's it been like growing up in Georgia? I was actually uh, on the east side until I was six and then I moved to Texas and I came back when I was like nine years old. You know, being in Atlanta and being in, you know, Dallas, Texas, like it's, it's two totally different, you know, cultures. So I feel like, you know, leaving and then coming back, it, it allowed me to appreciate both cultures and both dynamics of you know growing up in different you know states and you know once i came back i i feel like you know just as an overall you know black man from atlanta like i kind of you know felt more of that once i came back so, yeah well hughes a lot of people would probably consider that like one of the recent underground like classics from like last year right so how does that feel being a part of like a, a atlanta album um, what is that like? Man, honestly, I just make music and I just put it out. Like, I don't never have, you know, a prima notion of, like, this has to be a classic, this has to be this, this has to be that. Like, nah, like, if people enjoy the music, if people could play it, you know, a year later and feel the exact same way as when it first came out, then I did my job. Man, rest in peace to Nip, man, the awesome, show. Man. Like, this is actually another project that really, like, you know, pushed my writing to a different level as well. Um, also got to give credit to Nipsey as far as, like, you know, how I move around the city, too. Just, like, you know, on a hustle level. Like, I'm not even really the person that's more, like, money-driven, but, like, just, like, knowing, like, no, you have to do, like, certain things in order to, like, get and maintain a fan base like stuff like that is important to me so like i, I credit nipsey for all of that if anyone's checked out your instagram they've seen the sprite logo they've seen, right. they've seen that you're making these moves so right. let's talk about your relationship with sprite um sprite reached out to me like randomly like i was literally at work and they hit me and they're just like hey like you've been selected for da 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 so like with me being a person that overthinks a lot, I'm sitting like, is this a, a hacked account or something? Like, what's going on? So, I, um, you know, I go on the page, you know, it was legit, had a verified check, 800,000, you know, followers or whatever. And then, you know, I checked the comments, so I'm just like, oh, no, nah, like, nah, this is the legit page. So, you know, they asked for my information, sent it over, then probably about a week later, they was like, hey, like, this is what, you know, we have going on, and, this is how we want to represent you. So I was like, oh, cool. And, you know, I still talk to the people at Sprite now. Like, we have a dope relationship. Um, man, shout out to Sprite, just just because, like, it's a lot of stuff that they're doing that I really appreciate. You know what I'm saying? Like, reaching down to the underground and just, you know, like, trying to elevate them. Like, that's that's lit, in my opinion. Hey, you better keep it up with Sprite. You know, Drake hey. started up with Sprite. Nah, you know I know, what I'm I know. You, you got to keep that on lock. Got to keep it. <laughs> Some black eyed peas, okay. I never really got in, into black eyed peas, honestly. Mm. 
I, I'm with you. How'd you? Did you uh, check this one out? Is Danny Brown? See, I was a Danny Brown fan. What year is that? 2012, 2013. Whatever, whatever year that was when ASAP dropped his first album and uh, it had one train on there. That's when I was a huge Danny Brown fan. Around X, like triple triple X when he dropped triple X around that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But completely I mean, different Danny. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. He's he's a dad now. He's dad. He's dad. Danny. He's making dad music now. Yeah. I hate to say it. Yeah, it's executive produced by Q-Tip is, is dad. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's fine. I, I still got to check it out. I've been sleeping on a lot of music recently. Don't listen to Wale a lot, so I guess I've been lacking ambition, man. I've been folding under all these conditions. Uh. So, like, people may see from this interview that you're, like, a really reserved guy. Yeah. But, you know, we, I know you always got the drip on you. <laughs> so, like, let's talk about how, like, your merch, that uh -huh. design process. Because you got, like, you got the mock necks. You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, a couple little mock necks. You know? So, let's talk about that design process. Um, For me, like, I always, you know, want to do something dope. Like, I never just want to, like you know, put a design on a t-shirt and then sell it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I do something too, like it has a specific meaning for it. Like it, it speaks to me in order for me to put it out. Like I never like release anything into the world unless it really speaks to me. So I know for like the last designs that I dropped with the Polaroid images, just that whole, you know, different shades of blue. Like it really, you know, brought out the life of, you know, what Hughes is really about. You know what I'm saying? Like each shade, each emotion, um, you know, fluctuates and you have, you know, levels to it. So you have, you know, the darker area where, you know, sadness and then you got, you know, kind of where it lights up to where, you know, things get a little better, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like for that design, like that's probably my favorite design I've ever done. And just because it's kind of like a contrast of duality, like anger, you know, peacefulness. And it's kind of like a yin yang situation. That's why I did it. That's so, even cool when you think about how you said that you don't put anything out in the world that yeah. doesn't like affect, affect you, you yeah and that that just means a lot because you produce mm -hmm. you write right design merch right like that's a lot of like room to just like be like oh fuck it i'll just let someone do this yeah now you matter so kudos to you for that appreciate bro. it thank you thank you so we talked about all your successes what can we look forward to though man like we need we need new music Ken. man uh as of right now man i don't know you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to continue to push the album. You know, I feel like I got a great body of work in my hands. So, you know, just keep pushing that, you know, see, you know, how that turns out. I'm already, you know, having, you know, specific meetings with people. So we, we gonna see what shakes, we gonna see what shakes. All right, bet. If I, if I, if I decide to drop something, I, I might, but as of right now, <laughs> I'm not dropping nothing. Let's get grab three or four records for Spinrilla. Okay. Let's just you know, let's do what it do. You know. But so we definitely gotta grab this one. Got to. Um, let me see. <sighs> gotta get the mm, butterfly. You got you gotta get the gotta butterfly. Get the I I seen good cap, good kid, but I was like, mm, nah. So so to be clear, you you taking to Pimp a Butterfly over? <laughs> yes. I can respect it. I have I have, I have more I have more favorite songs on to Pimp a Butterfly. Oh, that's a hot, hot take. Man. So that's like, hot. just cause like, I'm more of a soulful person in general. Mm. So like, like my favorite song of all time by Kendrick is For Sale. Even though it's an interlude, like you would never like understand fully. But like, for me, like all day, every day, like For Sale. Um, I saw you feeling like K. Trinata record, what you think? Mm, I'm, I'm getting my, my top tops. Like, okay. So I gotta refine this, this uh, Gambino album. Oh, you looking for uh, because? Yeah. Right here. Yep. Right there. And then. The colors kind of go together too. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. I don't know if I want to get the Forest Hills Drive or the Twisted Fantasy. Mm, can't go wrong with Twisted Fantasy, to be honest. Mm. Can't go wrong with it. Let me see. I mean. I might just go with the Forest Hills Drive though for right now, just cause. Yeah, this this is this is my guy. This is my guy. I'm a I'm a Kanye fan, but not not that heavy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with those four. All right, bet. I'm gonna go with those four. So we got Forest Hills Drive. Yep. Classic. Yep. Classic, classic. All, all of them are classic, man. All That's true. That's why you picked all classics. Yep. 
Still think he should have won the Grammy over Eminem that year, yes. but you know. Yes, and Eminem's my favorite rapper, so that's, yeah. it, it hurts. Because what was, was it, a revival? Was it Matt Marshall Mathers LP2? It was, I think it was Marshall it was, Mathers LP2. It and was. I was like, oh, it was LP2. They dirty for that. Yeah. This one deserved a Grammy. You know what? The Grammy's gonna hate me. I'm gonna stop talking about him. <laughs> All of these great projects. Great, great. Great projects. taste, my guy. Yes, thank you. Yeah, let's, let's go, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Don't smoke. Don't get high in your love. This is the only thing that can replicate it. Like, ooh, child, don't I know you? Uh, you seem familiar. Yo, eyes red. Get some vazine okay. so you see clearer. clearer. Getting high from your contacts. Never mind that you realize. I realize when I reside all in your company, I get laced in the good vibes.